moving forward, what's the difference between startup and innovation? Startup is, um, we didn't discuss about the, apart from uh, innovative, you know, how you call it. There is this section about um, that the model should be viable. And part of that, you need to show that you have the credentials required, the work experience and the experience of running a business and you have a track record. So you're not just a recent graduate. You may, but then you just need to show uh, how you will be successful. But the startup is uh, the transitional period that it's generally for someone who doesn't have enough experience and that they need some time to gain the experience they need then to actually hit the ground and then start running their business. So you may get up to two years um, for a business idea, which is accepted as an innovative by one of the endorsing bodies. Uh, and then you would have these two years to gain the experience and you may work in the same field um, that you're going to run the business to gain the experience that you need. But of course, it's for a temporary period, two years, maximum two years. You can, after one year, start running your business and switch to innovator. But that two years would not count towards the three years that I referred to for settlement. Um, it's totally for a um, startup as someone who doesn't have enough experience, a recent graduate, or someone who wants to uh, try um, a different field that they don't have experience, but they have, a, they have a really innovative business idea that the endorsement body accepted, they may apply under the startup route. We had quite few actually from uh, Dubai uh, under the startup route, those working for different companies in different sectors that they decided they may run their own businesses. They haven't been running a business, they were working as a senior employee. So they applied under the startup route to say that they want to come to the UK and this is their idea of the innovative business they need to gain experience, so they come as a startup. And, and you, don't, you, don't, you don't need to invest anything. It's about showing that you genuinely have this business model and that you were able to execute it. And then you get up to two years visa. So still letter from endorsement body, and then you apply for the visa. Two years, up to two years, you're in the UK. Then you need to switch to the innovator visa. That's it. And these innovator and startups, these are the ones that you have to be inside UK or you can apply from outside? Both, both are acceptable depending on your immigration category in the UK. Uh, for example, if you're a student and uh, you obtain your degree and you have a business idea um, that you want to pursue and you can apply for a startup visa while you're in the UK. And in fact, most of the universities are themselves endorsing bodies. So they, the universities, they have a panel that they, they assess their graduates' business ideas and they endorse them. So you get a startup visa uh, by the endorsement of your university. Um, so you can apply while you're in the UK. Uh, or you may be working for a UK company on a work permit visa, skilled worker visa, and that you had enough of being employed and you want to run your own show. So uh, you have a business model that you want to run, then you may switch to being an innovator. So all these categories from not every category you can switch, but certain categories allows you to switch while you are in the UK. But of course, if you're outside the UK, you can make an application from outside the UK. That's great. Uh, I think we have uh, comprehensively covered uh, different ways. So if there are different profiles, if you are a self-employed, you have an option. Right. If you are a student, you have an option. If you are uh, looking for a job, now all UK employers are open for you. So Correct. and Correct. and uh, of course all uh, solicitor related work uh, we can do for them. And yes. um, uh, anything else you would like to advise to the candidates who want to apply? I would say um, from my experience, um, they should not focus on the actual visa and what the visa requirement is. They should focus on their career and what they want to do. And then actually really the, fuzz, the visa required for that category follows naturally, okay? So um, if they want to set up a business here and um, it's an innovative business, they should do their research. They should really look at the market. They should be satisfied that this is a feasible project. And if it is, the rest follows very easily anyway, okay? So then the endorsing body would endorse the business model because it will be obvious you've done your research and it's it's all genuine. So everything follows. So but if you start with, okay, what does this visa require? What should I do? 
that's the wrong formula. And uh, they should be business minded. Okay. And that resolves most of the categories. The same for someone coming to work here. If, if they have a unique selling point, if they are actively looking for a job, uh, there are always businesses looking for um, entrepreneurial minds, looking for those ambitious, hardworking minds. And um, they would get a job offer. And those companies would sponsor them if um, they are serious. So that's what I would say, really. And um, they, they just need to be business minded. And then the rest would naturally follow. Yeah. That's great. And some people generally ask, you know, because if you are a family living outside of UK and yes. you are planning to move in uh, anywhere, like where they see uh, Australia, UK, Canada, yeah. US. So, uh, I mean, if uh, you want to address those kind of candidates who are confused mm -hmm. at where to go, because every country now offering a point based system, there are employment options, there are branch opening options, there are work permit options. Options are pretty same on every country's uh, portfolios. I, but I agree, but I think because you refer to the families, part of that are children. So um, most of our clients, uh, the starting point is just the education for the children. And uh, UK still, uh, I think, offers the best education. So um, for, for the children's education, I think UK is the destination. And um, as long as, as I explained, the rest is planned from business point of view, um, I would say UK is um, the best option. Um, but it depends on your circumstances, of course, yeah. Uh, after the most important, your kids, because kids uh, for a couple is, I think, 80% of the decision making goes around uh, the kids. So, so the education in UK, of course, is the best. And uh, what other things I can feel is the multiculture, because the culture uh, itself is uh, very in, uh, intensely uh, it's accommodating. Connected, I mean, uh, very, right. yeah, accommodating, you know. I mean, yeah. uh, maybe in some countries we saw there are some still unacceptability issues, stands, but in the UK, I mean, I agree. Uh, I, agree. It, I, agree. I mean, diversity is really valued here, and and um, in fact, they see the they they see the value uh, in the diversity. It brings with it the success because. Effectively, you bring all the entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial minds and those who are ambitious, hardworking. So you have this crowd of those ambitious, hardworking, focused people from all different backgrounds that generates the success. And UK in general, they value this. And, um, and as a result, also, you feel that you're a part of it from day one. Um, <laughs> it's a strange feeling, but when you step out of the train and then the, the, the flight and then start actually traveling in London, all of a sudden you're just part of the crowd and you don't feel an out, like an outsider. Um, That's right. I think even the outsiders who come for a visit, they don't feel they are from outside. Right. I, Such I, a I, lovely and country, lovely country, I, lovely people. I, a lot I, of opportunities, 66 million population and um, a diversified even. I, I, I meet people from India there grand grandfather migrated before 90s you know and right. their right. all generations are here and uh, same right. like for africans same for so i mean such an intense uh, circle of settlement i never observed so far in you, other you're countries. right you're right i mean this 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 also just kind of reminds me i gave reference to if you remember the innovative route you get settled status after three years. And I said, you don't get this if you're married to a British citizen. So, hmm. you know, this, this shows the policy that you're valued because of your innovative mind and because of what you're bringing on the table. And it's not because you're married to a British citizen or it's not because of your relatives and et cetera. So, you know, this clearly sets the, the actual principles here that uh, you'll be welcomed as long as you, you are going to be genuinely part of the system. Uh, I think this is a very comprehensive comments and uh, 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 what is your closing remarks for the day? Um, I think I, I most of the time come across um, clients starting or oh, UK is uh, very difficult um, and then they kind of put it aside. I would say that don't. Um, I mean, UK is just 
genuinely looking for um, and actively looking for uh, innovative minds and the successful businessmen and businesswomen. So don't just put your um, plans for UK um, off because you think it's too difficult. Um, talk to us, talk to Dr. Musa, and if, if you're genuine and uh, that you have the credentials, it's it's not hard. It's simply you just need to show that um, you're genuine in, in your, your intention to come to the UK to run a business or to work for a business. That's what I would say most of the time uh, I come across those that they don't consider UK because they think it's too difficult. True. Uh, you're right. And uh, I think with our help and support and uh, our ongoing seminars that we have initiated uh, in order to guide people for the new categories. This yeah. will make the people life easy and uh, we always welcome them to ask any question. They can approach right. us anytime right. and uh, all right. our professional team is of course uh, here to help them in order right. to reach to a life which is uh, yes. which which their kids are looking for, where uh, a global culture, um, free education, standard of living, and an opportunity visa free countries, wherever you want to go. I mean, uh, you have immense uh, future for your family and yourself. Mm-hmm.